hello youtube so today in this video i'm gonna talk about the django humanize and how you can use it and how it is very useful for django templates specifically using in django templates and it can also be used in django uh, rest framework so without wasting time let's get started so uh, first of all i have what i have here is uh, just a simple blog application uh, blog blog project in which you can post your blog so First of all, this is my project. Let me make it a little big. Yeah, so this is my site and I have only one app installed, which is my app. And if you go to my app, then there is um, only just a single model with three columns and which is title, body and date. Okay, so in views, I have only one view uh, which renders all of the uh, all of our blog posts and sent to a template. And I have a template which is designed by in CSS and there is nothing crazy going on so it is just a sim it is just rendering all of the blog post here where it is yeah here, here we go so currently if I go to our admin panel th there are two only blog posts which you can see here so if we go to models then we are adding date and I don't know add is equal to true so it will uh, by default add the date which is uh, right now uh, at the moment of our blog post adding and so what is django humanize okay so let's talk about it so what this is the documentation page i will link that in the description so as you can see a set of django templates filter using a uh, useful for adding humanized touch to data so this makes your code more readable like if you have uh, one it will it will render one and if there is will be two then it will be two okay so uh, it uh, like adding commas and if you uh, if there is a date like uh, it is it was uh, yesterday's then it will instead of rendering the date it will render the yesterday okay let me show you natural day okay as you can see here instead of printing these we can use uh, Django will print these okay 29 seconds ago so, uh, let me show you okay so let me refresh this so as you can see here here is our date which I am rendering in the template so this is post to date and I'm rendering it here so this is this is the date of the our blog post okay so first of all to install this we have to uh, put this in our installed apps so let's copy this and go to uh, settings.py let's copy it here we have to put it in strings and django contrib humanize okay let's run the server again and now what we have to do is we have to load humanize in our templates so remember whenever you are going to use humanize you all always have to load this tag okay so now we are loading our humanize tags filters or whatever you can say it and now if we do natural day then we can just copy it from here and we can pass it this filter here okay so now after refresh this will change okay so keep your eye on this if i refresh this it is yesterday because i added this post yesterday okay so if you want also want the time so uh, you can add like and do you will add another render post or date and we will do the natural time filter okay so now refresh it okay nothing is happening so let me change it sorry post to this is data sorry i have to date okay so yesterday 13 hour ago so this is uh, this is how you can make your templates more readable and which are very familiar to humans i mean <laughs> i mean obviously human can read this uh, this makes more sense to the human obviously okay so this is all about django humanize and you can come to this documentation and you can read about more of them like what you have uh, so to get started what you all have to do is copy this and copy this paste this in your installed apps and paste this in your template wherever you are going to use the uh, these filters who so filter are these okay so this can be used on numbers and int comma also can be used on numbers int words can also be used on number so this number will turn become one one million okay so these are the filters which you can use so 
yeah using these makes you more code uh, sorry makes your website more readable so yeah like natural time one day two day one week two days from now you can use all of these